有的。<笑>嗨 I'm Stuart and I'm Paul and uh, well the best of British and this week it's a bit different from what we normally do we normally kind of choose a film and review that yeah uh, we're actually at the horror on sea festival in South End on sea it's the second year it's been running um, and we were lucky enough that our film uh, Rats and Frostbite our proof of concert trailer got into the festival which is fantastic because we got a chance to see it on the big screen with yeah, an audience brilliant. and gauge how they react to it so we thought we'd just make a proof of concert trailer for now um, which is the results you'll see here, which was the effort of a lot of people. So I hope you enjoy it, it's just crazy fun really, so thanks. So at the festival there's uh, quite a lot going on really, wasn't mm -hmm. there? There's been a whole kind of demonstration of all the makeup and the special effects that go into creating lots of different zombies. Uh, yeah, by Silent the, Studios, who I found out did the Resident Evil 6 live yeah. action trailer. <laughs> It was great talking to those guys especially because you got a real in-depth look at uh, how these amazing effects, these amazing gore, these amazing prosthetics are all created. Our makeup artists, they spend up to three hours a zombie uh, and it's, well, it's, it's latex, it's, you know, it's heavy prosthetics, it's gelatin uh, and a lot of the companies that do these things, and, and like The Walking Dead are a typical example, if you look at Greg Matera's work, the front zombies are amazing and that's because they spend three hours doing the makeup. Yeah. Uh, we do exactly the same with all the promo work for, for Microsoft and Capcom and for Deep Silver, all the game stuff. Mm. And, and again, with, with our film stuff, we do exactly the same. You know, when I do a scene on, on set, I make sure they do their makeup and I go back and recheck and recheck before we put them in front of the camera to make it re as realistic as possible. Fantastic. Well, they've, they've scared the hell out of me already, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Twice I've just come around the corner and gone, oh God. <laughs> Hello, Jed Vaughan here, Science Studios. Hope you're having a good time. <laughs> there was also, there's a really great store just near where the films get played, which is selling a whole array of DVDs, merchandise, uh, photos, uh, artwork, anything you need for your horror. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Horror needs are all counted for right there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, we came down very early um, this morning and first film after our films <laughs> that we got to see was this little beauty, Evil Bread. Well, we have four days to write, rehearse, shoot, direct and hand in a completed horror film. The drama students are pussies. And you two are fucking idiots. So we're here with the guys from Evil Bread. The guys from Evil Bread, your film is wicked. Oh, thank <laughs> you very much. That's very kind of you to say. We were massive fans of massive fans. Um, we're massive fans of yours. Yeah. <laughs> rats! We want, so we want a full film of we rats. We want to see a full film of rats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Evil Bread is about um, two kind of slacker filmmakers. <laughs> Um, who are giving it, <laughs> sorry, it kind of rang home, didn't it? Yeah, yeah it's like a filmmakers. I'm just doing a jet. There were some in jokes there, which for yeah. filmmakers were hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, they're, they're kind of tasked with their final assignment for university or college, and and they're given a brief to make a film, but they've only got 12 days to do it. Oh, well, actually, no, no that's no, how long it took them to actually day. film the yeah. film. They've only got like a day to make it, um, and they have to use these drama students who they hate <laughs> and who aren't the most talented bunch. Um, and they go to an old haunted house. <laughs> she again, quite a joke in the film where it's just a normal bungalow, really, converted bungalow. Um, and there is actually evil there, which is unleashed and kind of ruins their film shoot yeah. or makes the film shoot even better yeah. than what they, what they thought. I, my, one of my favourite films of all time was Evil Dead 2. I just adore it. So it was just an excuse to do a horror comedy, pay so many homages to, like, there's gremlins in there, howling, uh, the omen. Am I forgetting anything? Is it gremlins? And then, yeah, and tipping its hat more specifically to Evil Dead. Yeah. Um, and really, yeah, it's it's quite a slow pace film because really it takes quite a while to get to the killings and mm. those types of things. But it's just a joy to watch the comedy mainly between yeah. the two lead cast members and then all of the supporting cast as well are just absolutely fantastic in it. <laughs> and yeah, me and Paul were just sat at the front laughing our yeah, heads yeah. off it, the entire time. It was hilarious. Why don't we use mannequins? I mean, it worked for that one film. Um, oh, what was it called? Um, Mannequin. 
That's the one. The characters were great of the mm. main two guys, this slacker comedy yeah. um, that they're creating, but it had its own unique take on it, I think. Yeah. Um, and uh, certainly the character of Dave was just great. <laughs> so funny. We've we all need to get him in a film. We do. <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen those sidekick characters, um, but he brought something really fresh to the role. So, what's great about Steve is it's very much a collaborative uh, experience and things. So, um, if you kind of give him the sign to go, you know, let him off the reins, he'll just do it and that's that's fun and stuff. And then him with Jeremy who plays Andy, the other yeah, lead, exactly. those two together, yeah, right? they're, they're, it's like Bloody uh, Bugs Bunny and uh, Coyote or whatever it is. No, 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 no uh, <laughs> Roadrunner Road and Coyote, it's a little bit like that, once you get going, it's, you don't stop running really. Some of the humour is very kind of college humour. It's yes, very vulgar, but, but it's hilarious. Oh, it's really funny. <laughs> no, fantastic. So yeah, Evil Bread, um, do check it out if, if you get a chance to see it at a festival or if they release it online or get a yeah, or whatever. Yeah, really hope it will get um, distribution. Yeah, it's a great little film. Do check it out. So we also went to see Pat Higgins who was doing a talk um, He's kind of infamous for doing Strippers vs. Wells. He wrote the film, he didn't have anything to do with it after that. Um, but he's done he's done a lot of other kind of low budget horror films as yeah, well. Yeah, well he's made um, yeah, a big name for himself in yeah. that area really. Um, and he was kind of enough to kind of sit down with us and, and have a quick chat. Nowadays, I think, uh, it's not necessarily enough to make a first feature, you've got to be a bit brilliant. Uh, as in something's got to be brilliant. It's got to be, it can't just be a movie that anybody could make. Because anybody can now. So uh, it needs to be something that only you can make. Um, the, the spark that's the thing that makes you want to make movies, you need to get that in there so that other people want to see the film you've made. Um, because the obstacle is no longer getting the film made, it's getting any bugger to watch it. It was a real joy to be able to ask uh, Pat some of those kind of burning questions that we've got as filmmakers really, mm -hmm. how you go about uh, creating your first feature, what the challenges are, um, and how best to present yourself after the film is made as well. Um, and there were some real insights there, and it's such a nice guy, wasn't he? He was great. Oh, he's great, He yeah. just, uh, a wealth of knowledge behind him, many, many years of filmmaking craft. Um, and he's still humble, and he's still saying, I mean, one of the slides on his thing was, I don't know the answers to everything, or that, <laughs> words to that effect. Um, yeah. But that was great, but God, he knows a lot of answers to a lot of questions. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and that it was nice because we're in development of um, our first feature film mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, so to be able to draw on those uh, experiences from someone who's been there um, yeah. was a real joy. And if you uh, get the opportunity, the master classes that he's done from last year uh, are actually online at yeah. the moment. And in fact, uh, viewers, you can go and watch last year's live show, Werewolves, Cheerleaders and Chainsaws. Uh, you can go and watch that, that's like an hour and change of advice and stuff. And this year's one, which is uh, Fake Blood, Real Guts, should probably be going up online at some point too. Uh, we also saw some other great films, uh, one including Molly Crows. People did something. Something bad. Yeah, so Molly Crows was an interesting one because I haven't really heard anything about it before. We went in to see it. Um, the producer was up on stage giving a bit of a introduction to it and apparently it was made under a thousand pounds which is amazing um, really. but it has so many actors in yeah. it its <laughs> scale is quite large it's all set in a town um, or village and it's essentially the story of kind of a witch hunt mm. it was um, based on a tale of the area where they shot the film as well yeah. wasn't it uh, which was quite interesting which I believe is how they got so many people to be involved in it yeah uh, and we're talking what 80 actors or something like there's, that there's a saying. hell of a lot a lot of them kids as well yeah, yeah. Um, that they probably got from local primary school or theatre groups but yeah. it was quite impressive and she did admit that not all of them were actors it was kind of a case of where they went around to uh, family yeah. and friends and went can you act at all do you want to be in this film <laughs> we've so, all been there though <laughs> well yeah exactly so it was really interesting to see that because for under a thousand pounds i'm not sure the exact budget but it it's great. quite impressive it's definitely one to keep keep an yeah, eye on um, i'm not sure what their state is in terms of whether they get distribution or what they're doing with the film yeah, particularly um, but yeah it's definitely one to have a look at You better not tell anyone, you little slut. We were also lucky enough to see two trailers for Silent Studios films, which Jason was talking to us about earlier in the interview. Um, one's called Torture, 
um, and one of them is called um, Blaze of Gory, yeah. <laughs> um, which Jason told us a bit more about. Two things. So one was uh, it's our own personal feature film called Torture. Okay. Uh, so again, I wrote the story with that with some help from some of the team. Uh, and, and literally that's about, uh, it's, it's like Saw versus Hostile, it's kind of, okay. I wanted to come up with something that was really uh, taboo. So that's in uh, being filmed now at the moment, okay. uh, so that'll be out probably next year. Blaze of Gory is uh, 10 stories that was written by a 12 year old, believe it or not. A 12 year old <laughs> girl wrote these stories, took them to school as, as stories, yeah. and the teachers were that disgusted with her, they sent her home and got her parents <laughs> in it, it was, it was horrific. Um, so she's now 17, 18, uh, and uh, the guy who's collab you know, collecting all of them together, Dave Davis, who's also part of our team now. Oh. Uh, he's one of my cameramen and also associate director. Uh, he's a genius, you know. He's given me the wraparound segment, so we've got nine stories. And oh, the framing like, narrative. Yeah, I have yeah, to do the framing that's narrative. fantastic. Now, yeah. the one person we did get, which is a friend of mine and David's, is Emily Booth. So mm. she stars in this movie, and she's the horror queen. Everyone oh, knows brilliant. Who she is. Um, <laughs> so she acts uh, as a mother, uh, concerned about her daughter. Yeah. And it's an exorcist type kind of you know, segment. Uh, but she, you know, she's done in this segment something she's never done before. She plays a mother. She cries. She's she's sick. She's uh, emotional, whereas usually she's quite a hardcore horror yeah. girl, goes out there, kills people. So for her, a new role, so you know, a dream to work with. So before the night was up, we managed to catch the most busiest man at the festival, <laughs> <laughs> Paul, the festival director. Well, horror, what, what type of horror films are we going to show? And we thought, do we do it? A classic horror festival? Do we do a retro one showing 70s films? Do we show some of the, you know, the, the Insidious 2 type movies? And then I thought, well, let, let's, let, why don't we have a go at, at sourcing independent films? The, the new filmmakers on the block and, the, and their latest films, which Sadly, like it or not, a lot of these films never make it to the big festivals. Definitely, I mean, that's what kind of drew us to this festival, mm. uh, more so than other, any others, was the billing. I mean, yes. it's a really unique billing, um, not just UK based either, you've got no. films from all around the world. So yeah, as you can see, Paul was a fantastic guy, he's clearly got a passion for horror films. Uh, we're so thankful that he, he accepted Rats and Frostbite and put them in the festival, Yeah. Um, mm. because we've had an absolute whale of a time. Um, <laughs> And he clearly puts a lot of effort into to oh, this. Oh, he cares, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, really definitely. Cares. Filmmakers are all coming to introduce their first films. They meet with other filmmakers. Um, and, and it seems a really nice atmosphere as well. It's chilled. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, it's there's no egos out there. No. Everyone's willing to speak to each other. It's in a really nice, relaxed atmosphere. And you're watching some great films. Yeah, yeah it's, it's brilliant, really. So we met some amazing guys uh, at the festival and we really hope if you guys are out there and we met you, um, you keep in touch with us because yeah. uh, it was really nice to talk to you guys and learn off you guys. Uh, we're in development at the moment of our first feature film. Uh, we're going to need all the help we can get <laughs> and any wise words or tips or things like that. Um, yeah, please just stay in touch guys because uh, it was really nice chatting to you guys. Um, yeah, being involved. Also, please subscribe. Um, you can find uncut interviews of all the people that we've talked yeah, to this yeah, weekend. Yeah, check them out because they really are. Uh, it's a masterclass in each each little. Yeah, it's really week. informative for independent filmmakers. So if you're into that, please take give them a watch. We will see you next, next week. Time. Bye. -bye. Bye.